it for your spirit, Jesus, that is here, that right now is here in our midst. We welcome you, spirit of grace. We welcome you, spirit of forgiveness. We welcome you, spirit of love. Have your way. Have your way among your people. Move. Move in power. Move in our hearts. Do, Lord, do what only you can do. Please do what only you can do. Set your people free. Heal your people. Forgive us for all our sins. Hallelujah. 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 Salamat Panginoon. Walang hanggang papuri ang aming alay at pagsamba sa iyo. Sa oras na ito, Panginoon, manatili ka sa amin. Linger with us, Holy Spirit. Even as we study the word, reveal yourself. Reveal your plans, reveal your will to your people who are coming to you, earnestly seeking you. Lord, answer their prayers. In the name of Jesus, we come to you in humility. Father, we are your church. We are your image bearers. We are the display of your glory. Help us, O oh God. To display your glory now, even now as you, as you come here in our presence, Lord, continue to open our eyes, remove the veil, O oh God, that we may see you face to face. Panginoon, dalangin namin ang radiance mo, ang brilliance mo, ang kaningtingan mo will be reflected in our lives, O oh God. That we behold mirrors, hindi po kami mga broken mirrors ng iyong imahen, ng iyong image sa mundong ito. Maraming salamat po sa presensya mo, Panginoon. Tunay nga, wala kaming paglagyan ng aming kagalakan. Panginoon, na dinala mo sa aming pagsambat papuri sa iyo sa umagang ito. Nagpapasalamat ka ni, O oh God. This is a gathering we will never forget because you will do something great in our midst this morning. Salamat po sa pagkilos mo. Even now, salamat sa mga kagalingan. Panginoon, natatanggapin namin. Salamat sa mga himala. At salamat sa maraming surpresa. <laughs> Pinupuri ka namin at pinapasalamatan sa lahat ng ito. Itong aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Ang lahat na nag-agree ay sumagot ng Amen! Amen. Woo! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Amen! <clears throat> Sang linggo na akong sumisigawa. <laughs> Pwede na po tayong makaupo. Bago po ako magpasimula, pwede ko po bang malaman kung meron po tayong mga bisita, panauhin? Do we have visitors today? I saw one here in front. Okay, stand up. Pwede ko tumayo ang mga bisita dito? May mga panauhin po ba tayo dito sa banda rito? Let's welcome Caleb. Sino pa po? Si Kim, nandun. Yung mga kamag-anak ni Clarice. At ito po at yung mga... You're welcome! Dala ni Sister Ellen. Dito sa banda rito, meron po ba? Wala. Mga ushers, bigyan nyo sila. Welcome to the Rhema Word of God Church where Jesus is... The Living Word. Amen. Dalain ko na mag-usap sa inyo ang buhay na salita sa umagang ito. Amen. <coughs> Sabi ko... Naubusan na yata ako ng oras sa pagpipreach. Sabi ko, eh, siyang ko na lang. <laughs> Hallelujah! I trust that the Lord will speak to your heart this morning. So we will continue with our series on the Lord's Prayer. This is the third mini-series in a four-series uh, study on the Sermon on the Mount. So we have completed our study on the life that is flourishing in Christ. Actually, yun yung Beatitudes. Amen? The second part is the ways of Jesus. The ways of Jesus are how Jesus looked at 
the issues in our lives and his uh, application, the truths. Amen? He taught us, tinuruan niya tayo paano tayo mamuhay sa mundong ito sa mga issue na yan, like divorce. Amen. Amen ba? Retaliation, loving your enemies. Okay, so binigyan tayo ng example ng Panginoon. And then, now we are our, our third mini-series, which is the Lord's Prayer. Sabi ng iba, kailangan pa bang i-memorize yan, pastora? Amen. But the Lord is giving us a lot of revelations about the Lord's Prayer. And our fourth mini-series will be the ways of the kingdom. Bago ko ako, po ako magsimula, ay ang, ang support group po natin ngayong Sunday gathering na ito ay yung mga taga Maria Corazon. Palapakan po natin sila. Meron po yatang naka-assign na magre-recite ng the Lord's Prayer in dialect. Next time, sino ang gustong mag-recite sa Russian? Chinese. Amen? Okay, come on brother. Si brother Joel. pag Brother Joel, come on. Anong dialect ka brother? Dito ka. Tagalog, English, Bisaya, Waray, Lucano, Pangpangan. Bisaya man. O, bigyan nyo ng mic. Yan. Bisaya man, good. Okay, okay. Yung the Lord's Prayer. Sabi ng Panginoon sa sa Matthew 6, ganito kayo manalangin. Sabi saya. Okay. Ah, uh, magandang umaga sa lahat. Sabi saya. Uh, <laughs> uh, magandang umaga ay may buntag sa inyong tanan. Right. Yan. Ah, uh, mag magampo ako. Bisaya. Sugdan na nato. Am, amahan na mo, naka sa mga langit, pagdaygon ng imong alan, mabot ka na mo ang imong gingharian, matuman ng imong pagbuot din ni sayota, may ngun sa langit. Ang kalano na mo sa matag adlaw, ihatag ka na mo karun adlawa, og pasaylo a kami sa among mga sala, ingon nga kami nagapasaylo sa nakasala ka na mo. Og dili mo kami itugyan sa panulay, hinunoa luwas sa kami sa daotan, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Joel. Yan, recite niya yung the Lord's Prayer sa Bisaya. Mamayang hapon, waray. <laughs> o, oh, yung mga support group dyan, ha? ang next week natin ay Marikina Heights. Sino ang next week? San Mateo. O, oh, mag-start na kayo. Pwedeng kapampangan. Amen. So, we are having a series on the Lord's Prayer. Okay? Pastor Orly, uh, we took up our Father in Heaven. Hallowed be thy name. And then, Pastor Ayen also uh, preached on thy kingdom come, thy will be done. What do we mean to say to God when we pray those prayers? And then, last, last Sunday, I took up Give us this day our daily bread. Amen. Ano ibig sabihin nun? And today we are going to take up the next, the next part, Matthew 6, 12. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Amen. So today we are going to take up the power of forgiveness. Diba? The Lord taught us how to pray. And nag nag Nagtataka ba kayo? Why in the Lord prayer, the Lord said, give us this day our daily bread. The Lord is say, telling us, every day you have to worship me. Every day you have to thank me. Every day you have to hallow my name. Every day you have to pray that my kingdom will come to you. Every day you have to pray that my will be done in your life. Every day you have to pray for your daily bread. Amen? You have to pray uh, for your daily provisions, for strength. Amen? So that you can live a life that is flourishing. Amen? And today the Lord is telling us, every day you have to pray that I forgive you your sins. And then you will forgive other people. Nagtataka pa kayo, pero para sa atin, hindi natin ito ginagawa. Hindi ba? We don't usually do this every day. Amen? Why? Because Jesus knows the power of forgiveness. 
He knows that forgiveness is a healing thing. It is a liberating thing. It is a freeing thing. Unforgiving and forgiveness is destruction. It crosses you. It debilitates you. It depresses you. It hinders you from entering a life that is flourishing. Amen. That's why he tells us every day. Amen. You have to be conscious where you miss the mark. Where you miss the mark in my will in your life. Today you made a decision that missed my will. Amen. Alam niyo yung aeroplano, pagka kumunti lang ng lihis, papuntang US, nandun na siya sa ano? Nandun na siya sa Afghanistan. Di ba? Kasi kunting lihis lang yun. That's why the Lord is asking us, pray. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Amen. Okay, so alalahanin po natin yon. unang point. Sabi niya sa, sa ating pag-aaralan, next, inunahan ko, the power of forgiveness, go, it is healing, it is, forgiveness brings us liberty, freedom. If you forgive someone, you'll have peace, you'll have joy, you'll have wholeness in your spirit, in your soul, and in your body. A lot of the sickness we experience today is due to unforgiveness. Ang dami nating kinikimkim. Unforgiveness is a poison. Next slide. Unforgiveness brings brokenness, deep sadness or depression, bitterness. Alam na ninyo yun, kapaitan, pagkawasak, pagkadurog, grabing kalungkutan. Amen? Destruction. Ano pa? Death. Kamatayan. People who are unforgiving, you don't, you don't necessarily experience physical death, amen? But in your spirit, sin is separation from God. You are separated from the realm of the spirit. Your finances can die, your relationship can die, your opportunities can die, your dreams can die, your plans will die, only because you were unforgiving. Amen. Next slide. Most counselor says that the most that most of the problems they addressing in relationships revolve around the areas of unforgiveness. And for people who are still living with the feeling of tatlong bagay, shame, guilt, and condemnation. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon, God said in Romans 8, 1, ano sabi niya, there, there is uh, there, there is now, therefore, no condemnation in Christ Jesus who walk according to the law of the Spirit. The law of the Spirit is the law of life. And when Jesus, who is the sp- and His Spirit, tells us to forgive, we have to forgive para mawala yung bara sa flow ng ating blessings. Amen? So tatlong bagay, shame, guilt, condemnation. Pagka ikaw ay may unforgiveness, meron kang nahihiya ka. Kaya yung mga taong, alam niyo yung mga taong, Pat, kapatid, magpatutaw ka naman, nahihiya ako. <laughs> Shame is of the devil. Guilt is of the devil. Condemnation is of the devil. That is his hold when you are unforgiving. Next slide. John W. Scott, he is uh, an English theologian, men, uh, quoted this in his book, Confess Our Sins to One Another. And this is the testimony of one of the uh, psychiatrist medical doctors in one of the largest mental hospital in England. The doctor said, I could dismiss half of my patients tomorrow if they could be assured of forgiveness. Amen? Yung palang mga kabaliwan. <laughs> Tingnan mo nga katabi mo kung baliw. <laughs> yung mga kabaliwan dito sa mundo ay dahil sa unforgiveness. Kaya minsan sinasabi natin, baliw to. May unforgiveness siya. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Yung baliw, it's not necessarily na wasak-wasak ang, bu- ang ano, buhok. Pwedeng normal na normal siya, pero meron siyang <laughs> mental, may sablay, may mental disorder. Okay, next slide. Amen? Three things you can experience with sin. And 
forgiving is forgiving and unforgiving revolves around the issues of sin. When someone wronged you, when someone offended you, when someone did wrong to you, di ba? Hindi ka nakakapagpatawad. Amen. So, pag-aralan natin ngayon kung paano, kung ano ang nagiging, what are the effects and the side, uh, the byproducts of sin and unforgiveness in our lives. Para we will be aware. Kasi gusto ng Panginoon, we live a flourishing life. Gusto ng Panginoon that there's no hindrance between you and God when you pray. Remember, God is, Jesus is teaching us how to pray. And one of the hindrances in getting the answers to our prayers is our unforgiveness. Amen. So yun po ang nag nagpapakahirap akong nosebleed akong mag-English dito dahil may bata akong pinagwawagian. Ito. Amen. Hallelujah. Next slide. So I uh, wait 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 before that. When you sin, you can experience any of these things. You can either either imagine the guilt of your sin. Di ba pagka nagkasala ka lagi mong naaalala? Di ba? Kasi hindi umaalis sa konsyensya mo eh. It's in your conscience that your conscience disturbs you. So you imagine your sin. You imagine it. Another one would be, another uh, option is you deny guilt. Idini-deny mo, ah, tama lang yung, ay, okay lang. It's not too bad. Yung ginawa ko is not too bad. Hindi naman masyadong, ano, masama. Okay lang yun, marami nang gumagawa nun. nag ka, may asawa ka, pampalipas oras lang yun kasi nabubor ako sa asawa ko. Yung mga ganun, okay lang. My sin is not too bad. I'm not, I'm not doing, uh, I, I, I mean, so bad a thing. God understands. So you deny the guilt or you simply live with it. Amen? So kung nagkasala ka at binabother ka ng konsyensya mo, ini-imagine mo yung kasalanan mo. Pina, pinawalang bahala mo o kaya idinideny mo ino-overlook mo binabypass mo or you simply live with it eh talagang ganyan ang buhay amen pero lahat po ng mga bagay all these things they are not good for you it will lead you to destruction if you carry the weight of your of your sin it will crush you amen dudurugin kanya hindi kanya patatahimikin Amen? Bibigyan ka niya ng mga kaisipan na lalong maglululong sa'yo sa kasalanan. Pagka imagine mo yung kasalanan mo, syempre, when you imagine, there's a feeling that goes with it. Amen? Pagka imagine mo, so enjoy na enjoy ka dun sa, sa ginawa mo. Di ba? Okay. Kung i-deny mo naman, lalo ka naman niyang hahahanapin. Alam niyo ang kasalanan mo, halimbawa, ikaw ay kristyano, nagkasala ka. Di ba, dalawa ang paa mo. Itong isa, gustong mag-step out para sumunod kay Jesus. Diba? But the, uh, yung isang paa mo, dahil may guilt and... Con- you want to move forward in your Christian life. But because you are living in guilt, condemnation, and shame, hinaha- hinihila ka naman nito. Amen? Amen? Kaya ang nangyayari sa iyo, hindi ka nag-move. Hindi ka nag-move. Hinahayin ka nito. Gusto mong mag nito, so wala kang napupuntahan. Stagnant ka. Okay, next. So, all of this, there are no good options. Forgiveness is the only option. When you sin, the Lord Jesus said, for, you ask for forgiveness by praying, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, thy will be done. When I ask for forgiveness, I am hallowing your name. When I ask for forgiveness and forgive others, I am doing your will. When I ask for forgiveness and forgive others, you are glorified and magnified in my life eventually. Amen? Kaya yun tinuro ng Panginoon. As we have forgiven those who sin against us. So napakahalaga na tayo po ay una humingi ng kapatawaran at magpatawad. Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, humingi ng tawad. Kabila, magpatawad. Forgive. Ask for forgiveness and forgive others. Next slide. Ask yourself these two questions again, Meng. Two questions na naman to, ah. Okay, number one, do you struggle to ask for forgiveness? Why? Ikaw ba ay nahihirapang humingi ng 
kapatawaran kung ikaw ay nagkasala. Pangalawang tanong, do you struggle to forgive others? Nahihirapan ka bang magpatawad sa iba? Your answer to the next, the first question will give us will give you a clue doon sa second question. Amen. Sapagkat itong dalawang they are connected. Jesus knows that your ability to ask for forgiveness is connected to your ability to give people your forgiveness. Nawanawaan nyo, kung hindi ka marunong humingi ng kapatawaran, hindi mo ina-acknowledge ang kasalanan mo. Kapatid, naku, yung sinabi ko kanina, binader ako ng konsensya ko, hindi pala yon tama, patawarin mo ako. O kaya, I blew my top. Parang kami ni Meng nung isang gabi. Pasensya ka na kasi, ano, patawarin mo ako kasi nasabi ko yun dahil ganito, ganito. Amen? At least, na-recognize mo, na-acknowledge mo. Amen? And then, kung, pinataw- kung sinabi mo, nang hingi ka ng kapatawaran at hindi ka naman pinatawad, problema na niya yun sa Diyos. Basta importante, humingi ka na ng kapatawaran. Amen? Pero hindi ibig sabihin, humingi ka ng kapatawaran o pinatawad ka na ulitin mo uli. Sabi ng mga husband, patawarin mo ako. Ah, ne, ne, ne ba? O love. <laughs> ne? <laughs> Tawarin mo ako, sweetheart, sabi niya. Nainlab ako dun sa ano? Sa yaya. Sa yaya. <laughs> Pagka ba pinatawad ka, isisigi mo yung sayaya? Siyempre, hindi. Di ba? Okay, next slide. Jesus knows that our ability to forgive is directly connected to how we see our need for forgiveness and receive it ourselves. If you struggle with receiving forgiveness, you will struggle giving forgiveness. Isipin nyo muna bago tayo magpatuloy. Pagka kayo ba ay may nagawang kasalanan, inihingi ba ninyo ng tawad o minamaliit ninyo? Some of us thinks that because people are easy to forgive, sin does not matter. Mali. Amen? Sin matters. Sin hurts. Sin is so bad. Amen? Kaya pagka ang isang tao ay hindi nagpatawad, Uh, ibig sabihin, hindi ibig sabihin na magaan yung ginawa mo. Lalo na sa mag-asawa. Nang babae ka, nag-anak ka doon sa babae mo. Tapos, may nangyari. Uwi ka sa asawa mo, hihingi ka ng tawad. Mapapayaran mo ba yung ginawa mo sa asawa mo kung yung mga anak mo nag Kung yung asawa mo nagkaroon ng bitterness, na depressed, na baliw-baliw? Inay! Diba? Pagka ba nang hingi ka ng forgiveness, oks, ganun na lang yun? You cannot pay for that. It's so bad. The destruction you made, the breaking of the family, the hurt, the bitterness, everything, the emotions, the negative emotions, the things that happened in your family, you cannot pay it. You cannot make up for it. Sin is bad. Karumal-dumal ang kasalanan. And the thing is, ang kasalanan nanganganak. It gives birth to other lesser sins or bigger sins. Sins has its byproducts. Ang daming byproducts ang sin. Amen. Praise God. Alam niyo ang mga byproducts. Kung titignan natin sa Bible, si Haring David, nung nagkasala siya sa Kay Bathsheba, remember? He lost the respect of his children. That's why si Absalom raised up his heel against him. nag si Absalom, di ba? Ano ang nangyari? I-display yung, yung wickedness sa kaharian. Uh, na, nag, nag, nag-suffer ang buong kaharian. Dahil lang sa kasalanan ng isang tao. Especially if you're a person in authority. If, especially if you hold a headship position. Kung ikaw ay head ng isang church, ikaw ay pastor, ikaw ay tatay ng tahanan, at ikaw ay nagkakasala, yung espiritu ng pagkakasala mo dadaloy sa kongregasyon mo. 
If you are a pastor and you are guilty of lust, extramarital relationship, that same spirit will flow in the congregation and you'll find out later everyone has another woman, there's a sexual perversion all over the church. And that is not glorifying. The Lord said, well, in this, 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 right now, these days, some of the pastor will just die on their pulpit because they simply live with their sins, their guilt, their shame, and their condemnation. Doon lang sa YouTube ngayon, makikita mo yung koza, yung pastor ng isang napakalaking church sa Nigeria. Na, na panood ninyo yon. Lahat ng mga bata, nire-rape niya. Members ng worship team. Pasalamat kayo, hindi ako lalaki. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Next, sabi niya, the problem is, we have a difficulty Giving forgiveness or asking for forgiveness. Tagalogin ko, mahihirapan tayong humingi ng patawad at magbigay ng kapatawaran if we have problems with these three. We have a wrong view of God, a wrong view of ourselves, and a wrong view of sin. Kailangan maayos natin ito. Kung, kung mali ang paninaw natin sa ating Diyos, Mali ang pagtingin natin sa ating sarili. Mali ang pagtingin natin sa kasalanan. Mahihirapan tayong maghumingi ng tawad. Mat magpatawad. But I pray that dito sa church na ito, magkaroon tayo ng mag mata tamang paningin. Amen? Next. Alam mo, bago tayo pumunta dyan sa the parable of the running father, bago tayo pumunta dyan, Amen. Ang Panginoong, in, in terms of viewing God, if you read the Bible, the religious leaders, they have a very, very distorted view of God. Hindi ba? In fact, they do not recognize Jesus as God. Iba yung, yung si, yung God the Father. Ang tingin nila sa Panginoon ay ibang-iba, kaya napaka-judgmental nila. Wala silang kalab-lab, wala silang, if you don't love, you are judgmental. If you are judgmental, you are legalistic. Amen? Kasi wala kang tamang pananaw, hindi ka magpapatawad. Ah, dapat ikaw ang umig. Hinihintay ko muna silang magbago-bago ako magpatawad. Bakit? Sino ba sila? Ako pastor. O ako religious leader. Dapat sila ang mag stop down sa akin. Amen? Mali yun. Mali. Okay? So, alam natin na... In fact, in the Bible, nakikita kasi nila because Jesus, uh, Jesus is uh, mingling with the, with the tax collectors, prostitutes, di ba? Yung mga ganon. Tapos, uh, accepted siya ng mga tao, kaya maling-mali yung paningin nila. Amen? So, titignan natin sa the, kung, kung babasahin natin the parable of the running father, Di ba alam ninyo to, the parable of the lost son? You know the parable of the lost son? Amen. Si Nicholas Thomas Wright is a theologian. Ang tawag niya dito is the parable of the running father. Hindi natin babasahin ito, ikukwento lang ito sa sa'yo. Merong dalawang magkapatid. There was uh, two brothers, the older, elder one and the younger one. The younger brother went to his father and asked for his inheritance. And his inheritance is one-third of the property or the assets of the dad. So he said, Dad, I want to get my inheritance because I want to spend it the way I, I like. I, I cannot wait for you to die to get my inheritance. I have to enjoy it now. So the father gave it to the son. And the son went to a far country and spent it in, uh, anong classing? Huh? Prodigal living, meaning wasteful living. Ginastos niya sa mga babae until one day the money uh, were all spent out. He had to work to um, a, a person who, ins, who owns uh, piggery. <laughs> Di ba? Pigari. So, nagtrabaho dyan sa pigari. So, this, this uh, rich guy is now wallowing in a pig, pig sty. Eat, eating the food of the pigs. And then, he repented. He came to his senses and remembered his father. In my father's house, sabi niya, I eat better food. Even the servants eat 
Good food, they eat beef steak, amen, lamb steak, etc., etc. And here I am, the son of my father, uh, <laughs> ano, nagtitiis ako sa kaning baboy, so he decided to go back to the father. And when he was, so he was smelly, he was in a mess, he was swallowing in a big sty, yung kanyang itsura, baho-baho, so he went home, he went back to the father's house. And then, pag, the father, when the father saw him from afar, amen, the father ran towards the son. Amen? Amen. Noong panahon nila, hindi pwede yung ganon. Eh, alam nyo yung mga, yung mga fathers noon, lalo na pagka mga pamilya na ganyan, hindi mo pwedeng iangat yung iyong, ano ba tawag mo dito, yung bathroom mo. <laughs> bathroom ba yun, Orly? <laughs> Tapos tumatakbo siya. That's why N.T. N.T. Wright called him the running father with arms open wide. And then he embraced the son who is smelly. Amen? And then restored him to his position of authority in authority and glory in the house. Amen? So, titignan natin, ganun ang ating ama sa langit. Every time we repent of our sins and we ask for forgiveness for what we have done, our Heavenly Father is running fast towards us with His arms open wide, ready to embrace us, to kiss us, to hug us, to give us back what we lost in the first place before we rebelled against Him. So, ganun ang tatay natin. Hindi siya, He is not. Sige, i-ano mo. Next. Our Father, sabi niya, wrong view of God, He is not angry. Amen. Di ba the, the younger son, he, re, he, ano, he rehearsed pa what he will tell his father. I will tell my father, Father, forgive me. I have sinned, etc., etc. But he never got the chance to say that to the father. Without even asking for forgiveness, the father ran to him, towards him. Amen. So ano yung wrong, yung wrong view natin sa father? God is angry, stern, ready to rub out our sin on our face and pour out guilt, judgment, and condemnation over us. We have a wrong view of God because of our family background, religious upbringing, yung kultura natin. I grew up in a family, in a religion, nang tingin namin sa Diyos ay galit that every time you miss church, he will bring you to, he will uh, ano, throw you out to hell. Pagka hindi ka nag-attend ng isang church, tatapong kanya sa dagat-dagatang apoy. So he is the God who is spying on you every time. Ano kayong ginagawa nitong batang ito? Ah, lagot ka. He is, God the Father is not like that. Amen? He is a loving Father, a forgiving Father, ready, longing, for the, the longing for his children to come home. He is in fact waiting for you to come home. Eager, longing, waiting. Amen? Amen? Yun ang ating amang nasa langit. Kaya when we pray, Jesus said, you pray our heavenly Father. Amen? Okay. God, ito pa ang isang wrong view of God. Ito ay view ng older son. Di ba nung nakita niya, nagpa-party sila? When he heard that there was a party in the house because of the younger son who came home, sabi niya, bakit ako hindi niyo ako naipagpatay ng guya kahit minsan? Samantalang nandito ako, lagi ako nagsaserve sa'yo. Parang sinasabi niya, I don't get this guy. After spending all your money, you are giving him a reward. While me, I've been with you, working with you in the farm, you don't even kill a, a lamb for me. Diba? Maleng pananaw sa Panginoon. God rewards only those who do good and punishes those who sin. This older brother was thinking, he should be punished and I should be rewarded. Diba? Hoy, may nakikinig pa ba? Yeah. Ang hirap magtaglis, no? Ikaw na nga lang magturo niya sa anak mo. <laughs> Clarita, interpret mo na lang. So, hindi ganun ang ating Panginoon. Kasama ang masama at mabuti sa kanyang blessing. His mercies are new every morning. He sends 
us rain, sunlight to the bad and to the good. Amen. Amen. But his eyes are special on those who come to him in humility and forgiveness. Amen. Yung isa pang concept natin sa Panginoon, it forgives us only when we clean up our mess first. Maraming mga taong ganito, when you invite them to church, sabi nila, ay hindi ako karapat dapat mag-attend dyan, napakabanal naman yung gathering nyo. Yan, akala mo. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Kailangan munang maglinis ako, bako ako pumunta dyan, hindi mo yan kaya. Come as you are. And that the Lord will do the rest. You will not have the ability and the grace and the power to change yourself, to clean up your mess without Jesus. Amen. Siya lang ang makakagawa niyan. Okay. So why am I telling you this? Jesus was the one telling the story to the Pharisees. Amen? So the Pharisees was, huh? Ano? And Jesus is the only person who can give us a true picture of the Father. Huwag tayong maniwala si sinasabi ng mga relihiyon na ang Diyos ay, ay, ah, tawag, mapagparusa. Amen. Ang paniniwalaan natin ay yung sinasabi ni Jesus tungkol sa kanyang ama na atin ding ama dahil tayo ay kumabit kay Jesus. Amen. Mapagmahal siya. Okay, next. So, alisin natin yung mga ganon na kaisipan. Next, our wrong view of self and sin. Hindi ko pwedeng paghiwalayin tong self and sin kasi our view of ourselves as it relates as it relates to sin. Okay? Sabi niya, mahirapan tayo na magpatawad kung ang view if you don't really believe you need God's forgiveness because you think you're not that bad. Hindi ako hihingi ng patawad kasi hindi naman ako makasalanan eh. Okay lang yung ginawa ko, ginagawa na ng lahat. Na, it is accepted by society. So why bother asking God for forgiveness? ba diba? Isa yon You think you are, there are people who are so affluent. Okay, they are rich, they are successful, and God is blessing them. And they think that because God blessed them, they are okay before God. Everything that they took, they are hiding. They are hiding. This is the affluence. They are hiding beyond their affluence, blinding them that they need daily to ask God for forgiveness. Kasi mara, kahit sino dito sa atin, may sablay. Huwag tayong magtago doon sa, you know, success and affluence is dangerous. It is harder to walk with a cup full done with a cup half full. Totoo yan, kasi nararanasan ko yan. Amen? <laughs> Minsan iisipin mo, okay ako kay God. Lagi niyang sinasagot ang naghingi ako ng ganito, binigay niya, hindi ako tingnan mo, ganda na ng buhay ko, nakapagpatay ako ng bayan, dami kong ganito. You are crazy. You need God every day. Amen? Amen? So dapat, hindi huwag nating tignan yung sarili natin. Alam mo, huwag nating gamitin ang blessing na rason na hindi na natin. For example, meron tayong na-offend sa kapatiran. Eh, dapat siyang yung position, yung pagaan. Eh, dapat siyang lumapit sa akin. Mas mataas ako kaysa sa kanya eh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nandito na ako eh. Dati eh, pwede. Nung katulad kami, pero ngayon liba na ako. <laughs> Inay! <laughs> ano ka? Hallelujah! Amen! Okay, well, let's go. Naintindihan nyo? Okay, sabi sa 1 John 8, 10, If we say, sabi niya, wala akong kasalanan. Malinis ako, nilinis na ako ni Jesus. Matagal na akong nilinis ni Jesus. Amen? Sabi niya, if we say that we have no sin, read, read, read. We deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and do cleanse us from all unrighteousness. See the power of confessing and asking for forgiveness? It cleanses you from all unrighteousness. In the past, 
in the present. And if you will continue to confess your sin, the Lord will still forgive you in the future. Amen. Amen? And then he said, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Do you know that the word of God judges our conscience? You, you are the only person who know that you are sinning. No one else. True. True. Tama. Okay, next. Kaya gusto ko si Orden nandito sa harap dahil na-encourage ako pagka sumasagot siya. True. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> so what is sin? Read. Read. Sin is anything that falls short of the flourishing life that Christ created us to live. Oh, wow. Sin is not only doing a bad thing. Amen. Sin is not only missing the mark. Ito yung will ni God. Sumablay ka. Amen. Sin is falling short of the flourishing life. Okay. Paul puts it this way in Romans 3, 23, 4. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So lahat daw tayo ay nagkasala at hindi tayo umabot. If this is the glory of God, nandito tayo lahat. We all fall short. Amen all. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, kasali ka. Sama ka, kasama ka. Next. Next slide. So, we all fall short of the glory. What is glory? Read again, read. Glory is the reality of God made known. It's the truths of the invisible God made visible. Wow. Wow. So, when Paul said all have sinned, he means all of us are created to be image bearers of God displaying what He is like in our thoughts, in our motives, in our words, and in our behavior or action. Ang bigat. Amen? So that is glory. And God created us to be His image Bearers. Tagadala tayo ng emahin ng Diyos upang itanghal sa buong mundo kung anong, kung ano siya. His true nature, His true characteristics. So kung sinabi ng Panginoon, we are image bearers, kahit saan tayo magpunta, daladala natin ang emahin, ano ang larawan ng Diyos. Larawan and image means His character and nature. God is holy. God is love. God is forgiving. Jesus is compassionate. Jesus is patient. Jesus is not ano yan, ill-tempered. He is long-suffering. So kung image bear, if we are image bearers, we display that. To display is to make it visible. How do we make it visible through our Words. Yung motive nga, hindi mo pa makikita. But through your actions. Sabi ni Joe Sweet, I was listening to his preaching, sabi niya, A sanctified life or a life holy before God is a life that is um, controlled ba or ano? When, ganito sabi niya, when everything you think when every motive of your heart is only to love God. Lahat ng ginagawa mo dahil sa pag-ibig mo sa Diyos at pag-ibig mo sa kapwa. Nothing of the self at all. Amen. And when you do that, sometimes, doadating yung kasalanan, ano yung kasalanan? You think that, Hoy, Lord, lagi na lang ako yung ganun. Nagse-self-pity ka. That is a very, very serious sin. Self-pity. Marami kayo sa inyong nag indulge ng ganyan. The other is so bad, parang kanal. And the other is, the color is dark brown. Breeding place ng lahat ng masama. Gets? 
Hirap, no? Ibig sabihin ng Diyos, kung ikaw ay hindi ganon, you are in sin. Ha? Ah, kung hindi ako nag-isip ng katulad ni Christ-likeness, in short, kung hindi ako nag-isip katulad ni Jesus, kung hindi ako kumilos katulad ni Jesus, kung hindi ako gumalaw ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. Kasi ang prayer natin is, Our Father in Heaven, hallowed be, may your name be hallowed, be respected in my life. Thy kingdom come, make me a vessel of your kingdom, your will be done, yung kalooban mo ang nasusunod. Amen? Padalangin ni. Eh. Nakikita ninyo? Sasabihin nyo? Alam ko na na yung Lord's Prayer. Kailangan pa bang i-memorize yun? Hindi <laughs> mo alam. Amen? Kasi hindi mo pa isinasabuhay. So we display. When people see us, they see God. Let's, di ba? Let's make Jesus known. Wow. So, every time pala na we fall short, hindi natin nagagawa ito, we are sinning. No. Amen. Ang dami nating trabahong gagawin. And God wants us, that's why the Holy Spirit helps us in the sanctification process. The Holy Spirit does not expect, expect us to change tomorrow. But if we are conscious that this is the will of God to trans, that we may be conformed in the image of Christ, we consciously walk with Him in the Spirit. Amen? At mag-grow tayo. Day. That's why, kaya pala, sabi ko, Lord, sabi kasi nung mga hyper grace, hindi ko na kailangan mag-confess ng kasalanan ko because you have forgiven me already. Kahit nga yung inutang mo, you have paid it in full. May utang ka pa rin, bayaran mo. <laughs> Unless kinansel. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. So that is the glory. Glory is, okay, to fall short of the glory is, sige, basahin nyo. To fall short of the glory is to fall short of displaying the true nature of God in our thoughts, motives, words, and action. So we say to God, Lord, hindi ko to nagagawa araw-araw. Forgive us! Hallelujah! We're saying, forgive us, Lord. We are not doing this every time when we come on a Sunday and we are reminded about the Word. We are acknowledged that, Lord, we are falling short of your glory, but God, we can't do it without your help. We are hopeless. Tama. And that is an acknowledgement. Once you acknowledge it, now the grace and the power of God will start flowing in your life so you can do it. By His power and by His grace and by His wisdom. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng a life totally dependent on God. Kasi pagka ikaw ay born again, hindi na sa'yo ang buhay mo. Galatians 2.20, di ba? You are dead to yourself. Without you forgiving us because we know the debt of our sin is too great for us to pay. Sino ba yung glory? Si Jesus. Jesus is the glory of God. Okay. So, pagka ito yung sin, sin is falling short of the glory. So, this is Jesus. This is us. Once we commit our life to the Lord, naka-level na tayo sa glory. But God said in His Word, we are being changed from glory to glory to glory to glory. Diba? That is now the process of sanctification as we continue to renew our mind. Every time we read the Bible, di sino-sino dito sa inyo nag-BBRC, nag-TTP. Every time I read the Bible, nag-taas ako, forgiveness, Lord, hindi ako ganito. <laughs> diba? I'm falling short. Maraming bagay, but let's, Huwag naman kayong mabuhay sa condemnation at sa guilt. Once na hiningin nyo yun sa Panginoon, believe that you have received. Kaya ako pagka nagpa-pray ako, Lord, I have prayed. And you have answered. Amen. Amen. So Romans 6.23 says, sabi niya, our sin is too great for us to pray to pay. 
Yung kasalanan natin, di natin kayang barayan. Why? Bayaran. Why? Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen? So sabi niya, we see the wages of sin every day, all around us. There is sin. So ibig sabihin, there is death. Sin equals death. So we see the wages of sin every day, death of relationships, Ilan ngayon ang naghiwalay? Ilan ngayon ang broken families? Ilan ang nag-away na business partners? Ilan ang nag-away na magbosing? There is a spiritual death. Amen? Even among the pastors. Just ko dai. Amen? Financial debt. Nalugi. Amen? Nawala. Death in our culture. Wala na yung kulturang Pinoy na magmamano, na magpopo, mag-oopo. Wala na yun. Namatay na. Death of all creation. The things around us. Bakit may baha? Bakit may undoy? Dahil ginalbo natin ang ating mga bundok. Why all? Because of sin. So, death is evident because of our sin. There is so much brokenness around us in the city. Ang daming taong may sakit. When you go to the communities, mag-ikot kayo sa mga communities, tignan ninyo ang environment. Death. Death in the city. Mga basura, nagtambak dyan, mga langaw, mga daga. Hindi pa ba tayo nagsasawa sa mga death na yon? Ibig sabihin, yun ay resulta ng kasalanan. Amen. So, 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 next. Next slide. Meron pa ba tayo? All of the deaths, basahin uli. Go! All of the deaths around us is God screaming out warning. Hallelujah! The wages of sin is death. If you don't turn from your sin and turn to me, you'll stand before me on your own merits and it won't be good because you'll not measure up to the glory which is seen in Jesus Christ. Jesus is the standard. You cannot even follow the law without Jesus. Amen. Kaya lahat ng taong wala sa Panginoong Jesus. I'm sorry. You, you are dead in your spirit and you are dying. By death, you die. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's why we have an obligation to spread the gospel. Because we are a people of life and light. Something is deposited in us that, we, that will change the world, our families, our cities, our nations. And this should not only be a lip service, it should be something that we do. Amen. Faith without action is dead. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay, so si Jesus ang, ano, ang pamantayan. Siya ang standard. All that is true about Jesus. We have to endeavor to, 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 to live it, to be displayed in our lives. Kaya marami tayo, kaya araw-araw na. Halimbawa, kinausap mo yung kasama mo sa bahay. Imbes na kausapin mo na may naon, Hi! Dahil mo dito yan ako! Tapos sabi ng Panginoon, hmm, Yan ba ang Christ-like? Lord! <laughs> Lord, patawarin mo naman ako. Merong mahira mo. Itong matanda na ito, punta nang punta sa bahay. Tingin mo yan o nangihingi ng palanggana, ng gano'n, ng pera, pang gamot. Di naman pagkaminsan, nasususot ka na sa mo, sabihin mo wala ako! Nandiyan, nandiyan ka eh. <laughs> Nakita nyo? So sino sa inyo ang nagmamalaki na wala kayong kasalanan? Sige nga. In thoughts, in motives, in words, in deeds. That's why every day, Lord, patawarin mo ako. Lord, sumablay na naman ako. Sasabihin ni Lord, tawagin na kaya kita ng sablay. Hoy, sablay. Sumablay ka na naman ngayon. Lord, nalaglag ang bunga ko. Lord, laglag na naman. Bubut pa. <laughs> Fruit of the Spirit, love, patience, goodness, kindness, self-control. Eh, hindi ka nakapag-control na naman. Amen? Naglasing ka na naman kagabi. Liluya. Lord, nalaglag na naman ang bunga ko, Lord. Amen. Next. 
So, bago mahuli ang lahat, kailangan natin ng kapatawaran na, we need the forgiveness of God. Amen. Because we all have sinned and we cannot pay the penalty of death. Jesus died for us. He already paid the penalty. Amen. Amen. But we have to die in the things that is flesh, fleshy in our life. Yung mga maka, makamundo. That's why we come and say to Him, forgive us our debts because we know that death is big. Only Jesus through His cross can pay for all sin. For all peoples at all time. Si Jesus lamang. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. He is the only one who can. Because He was the one who was crucified. He paid for all our sins. Sa lahat ng mga tao in the past, now and in the future, sa mga ipapanganak pa, siya pa rin ang magbabayad ng kasalanan nila. No, pay, no man can pay for his own sin. Amen? Next, next. Forgiving others. Now, now, if we have a, before that, now, if you have a right view of God, and you have a right view of your neediness for God's forgiveness so that you can be a dispenser of forgiveness and so that you can be a dispenser of His nature, a display of His image. And now you understand that sin is really bad. It hurts. It crushes people. Now, if you have a correct view of that, you can now go to the second part. As we forgive others. So, sa Matthew 6, 12, and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sins against us. So, sabi ng Panginoon sa Matthew 6, 14, if you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive you your sins. Are you saying that if I, not, if I will not forgive my brother, the Lord will not forgive me? No, I'm not saying. Jesus is saying. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Pag hindi mo pinatawad yung nagkasala sa'yo, hindi ka rin patatawarin. So, okay ba yun na deal? <laughs> Oy, pilitan ka. Hindi ba? <laughs> okay yun. O, sige, ayaw patawad. Alam mo, naalala ko yung John 2023. John 2023. If you retain the, uh, the sin of others, meaning you don't forgive, you retain that sin. It will, the sin, the spirit of that sin will come to you and invade you. And one day, the same spirit that you hate, you are now doing what it is doing. You retain. Kaya gusto ng Panginoon magpatawad tayo. Halimbawa, yung asawa mo, nangangalo niya. Ayaw mong patawarin. Tatay mo, nangalo niya, galit na galit ka sa kanya, lumaki kayong ganito, ganyan, sinisisi mo siya sa lahat ng, ng malas sa buhay mo dahil sa tatay mo na nagkaroon ng isang pamilya pa, hindi mo siya pinatawad, matanda ka na, nung tumanda ka na, ikaw na ngayon ang nangangalo niya. John 20, 23. Hindi may labasan. Okay. Imagine, that is a spirit. It enslaves. di ba? Nagka-capture siya. It makes you captive in His power. Leluya! Alam ko, marami dito may mga problema sa asawa. Patawarin for your sake, not for them. Amen? Next slide. So, ay pinagpatuloy ng Panginoong Jesus. Sabi niya, the importance of forgiving others. That's why Jesus told Peter, that when then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him. Pagka nagkasala siya sa akin, nila up to seven times. Because that was what the religious leaders uh, taught them. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. That is 490 times a day. Amen. Imagine the grace of God for forgiving. It's unending. It's eternal. It's, it's, ako ang gusto kong tignan ko ang forgiving, forgiveness na dapat dumadaloy sa atin. Blood life natin yun. Blood natin yun. Parang kung wala kang dugo, mamamatay ka na. That is forgiveness to us Christians. You keep on dispensing it. It, it flows. Amen. 
Hindi sinabi na, buti na lang, hindi sinabi ni Lord up to seven times. Buti hindi sinabi ni Lord yes. Hindi, kung hindi, nagkasala ako kaninang umaga, nagkasala na naman ako. Eh, pagdating ng seven, oh, 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 says, kota ka na, kota ka na, wala nang grace. Wala nang grace para patawarin ka. Hindi ganun. Diba? God is so good. But it doesn't mean you have a license to sin. Amen? Kailangan magbago ka na. Kundi, sabi ng Panginoon, remember that verse in Corinthians, deliver, deliver that brother to the devil for the salvation, for the destruction of the body which is sinning so that his soul will be saved. Sige, patuloy ka na lumalangoy sa kasalanan. Sige lang. Sasabihin ng Panginoon, oh, ipanalangin nyo ito, kunin na ng jablo, ang katawan, para yung kaluluwa ay maligtas. God is more concerned about your soul rather than your body. Kaya nga, hindi na ako magpapabotox at saka magpapatangos ng ilong. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> anyway, Hallelujah! Thanks! And then, Pag, after the ninanong yun ni ano, kuliento niyo in the wicked servant. Pwede mo ang isisi worship, Sam. Matthew 18, 23 to 35. Pwedeng NLT, pwedeng New King James Version. Any, any, any version. Basahin natin to, ah, this is the wicked servant. This is the servant who doesn't want to forgive. <clears throat> ne, okay, go. Matthew 18, 23 to 35. Sorry, hindi ko na inilagay kasi mahaba pagka-PowerPoint. O basahin ko na lang. Sige, sabayan mo ako uh, as Sam. Anako, mag-aalas on sina. Huwag na nating basahin. Huwag na nating basahin. Ang kwento nito, ganito. <laughs> Meron isang servant na may utang na milyong-milyong piso sa kanyang amo. Ngayon, binisigil na siya ng amo niya, wala siyang pambayad. Alam mo, ang ginawa niya sa amo niya, he, he went to the master and asked for forgiveness. Forgive me, I cannot, I cannot pay that debt. It's too big for me to pay. And then the master forgave him. ba? Paglabas niya, doon sa labas, nakita niya yung kanyang kasama na sinisigil niya ngayon umutang sa kanya ng, ng 50 pesos. <laughs> Limang daan naman. Kasi milyon yung utang lang. Limang daan piso. Sabi niya, bayaran mo yung utang mo sa akin. Sabi ng kakaano niya, maahwa po kayo sa akin. Wala po akong pambayad. Hayaan po ninyo, babayaran ko din yung utang ko. Sabi niya, ay hindi. Kailangan bayaran mo ang utang mo. Kinuha niya yung tao at ipinakulong. Ano yon? Wicked. Pinatawad siya ng kanyang amo ng milyon-milyon. Yung kanyang kasama, hindi niya mapatawad sa limang daan. Amen? Anong sinasabi ng Panginoon? Itong wicked servant na ito ay huhusgahan. Anong ginawa? Pinatawag siya ng master. Oh, sinabi sa akin ng mga kasama mo, ipinakulong mo yung kasama mo na umutang sa'yo, hindi nakabayad. Ikaw, pinatawad kita ng milyon-milyon, Hindi mo ba, hindi ka man lang ba nagkaroon ng habag at awa? So ikaw ngayon ay aking ipapakulong. Good? Okay. So anong learnings natin? Next sum. Pagka tayo ay hindi nagpatawad. Unforgiveness. Those who refuse to forgive don't understand the gravity of their own sin and their need for forgiveness, nor understand the forgiveness that God gives. Di mo na unawaan kung gano'ng kahalaga ang kapatawaran. Your unwillingness to forgive is an evidence that you have not received forgiveness. Amen. Itong tao na ito, although pinatawad, hindi niya tinanggap. Napatawad siya, okay lang yun sa kanya. Pero alam niyo po, pagka pinat- tinanggap ninyo ang, ang, ang kapatawaran ng Ama, tayo ha, sa ating Panginoon, it changes us. Amen? Sige, tingnan natin ang next verse. Naintindihan na niya, unforgiveness is carrying around on your shoulders the weight of someone else's sin. It will crush you. Unforgiveness is like swallowing a bitter pill every single day. It will kill you. Example. Ang asawa mo ay nag, ng babae. Nangapit ay naglipat bahay. Hmm. Nangapit bahay, hindi na siya umuwi. Amen. At doon sa kapit bahay, may anak na siya. Sobra dahil doon, 
Kailangan mo magtrabaho, nagrebelde yung mga anak mo, sobrang kapaitan, kayo lahat. Mula sa iyo hanggang sa mga anak mo. Dahil sabi niya, hindi ko siya matatawad hanggang ako ay mamatay. Till death, I will, cannot, I cannot, I will not forgive him. Ano ang nangyayari? You are carrying the weight of his sin. Amen? Ikaw ang nagdadala ng bigat ng kanyang kasalanan. And kapitbahay mo lang, every time na nakikita mo, napupuot ka lalo na pag ang saya-saya nila. Nanood sila sa, ano, sa filis, kumain sa labas. Tapos ikaw, naghihikahos. Okay? So, ang bigat-bigat. Only Jesus, next. All sins require atonement. Okay? Which means there must be an equal payment for what's happened to satisfy the demand of justice. Walang hustisya. Kailangan ko ng hustisya. Ididemanda ko siya. Ah, ganyan, di ba? Magpa-file ako. If you don't forgive your atoning or paying for one, someone else's sin every day. Okay? So, ano ang gagawin mo? Only Jesus can atone for sin until you go to Jesus with their sins and give it over to Jesus and let Jesus carry the weight, you'll be crushed. Ganito. So, ang gagawin mo, alam mong hindi, your husband cannot pay for the damage at all. Hindi niya, hindi niya mababayaran yung ginawa niya. Kahit mamatay pa siya ng limang beses, hindi niya mababayaran yung ginawa niyang sakit sa inyo. Di ba? Ang sabi ng Panginoon, dalhin mo yung kasalanan niya sa akin. Come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So lumapit ka ngayon sa Panginoon, Lord, ito ang ginawa niya sa akin. Magsumbong ka. Amen? Lord, sa ginoo, eh, sumbong mo sa ginoo. Lord, nahihirapan ako na patawarin siya. Ba't narinig ko si pastora? Kailangan ko siyang patawarin. Kaya dinadala ko siya sa iyo, Panginoon. Tulungan mo ako na patawarin siya. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So, sasamahan ka ngayon ng Panginoong Jesus sa Ama. Sasabihin niya, dalawa kayo ngayon. Sasabi, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Once na dinala mo yun sa Panginoong Jesus, ibig sabihin, wala na sa'yo yung burden. Bigay mo na sa Kanya. The reason why God cannot move in your life is that that is a barrier. Amen? There is, hindi naman pwedeng i-violate ni Lord ang Kanyang salita para nang pagbigyan ka. Siyempre, His, His, His word is powerful. So once na sinunod mo si Jesus, patawarin mo siya. Then the Lord can now start building. And you know what? When you pray for your husband, you are providing a spiritual supply and you are opening a channel for the grace of God to just move in his life. Then one day he will realize. Amen? Amen? Ang kamali natin, ang iniisip natin, paano tayo maghihiganti? Paano natin mahihirapan ng buhay niya? Samantalang sabi ni God, patawarin mo muna and then bahala ako, nakausapin siya. When you are, forgiveness is a bridge that will help you cross the chasm of sin in order to reach the kingdom of God where the resources of the king is available for you to change. Because forgiveness is transforming thing. It's a transforming thing. It changes you. When you know how to forgive and to ask for forgiveness, it changes you. In a way you do not know. Hallelujah! Ngayon, si Jesus na ngayon ang mag-atone ng kasalanan niya. And you don't expect people who sin against you to pay for their sins. They cannot. They are just like you. Needing God's forgiveness. Huwag mong i-demand sa asawa mo na bayaran niya ang kasalanan niya. Si Jesus lang ang makakapagbayad and the only way you can do is to bring him to Jesus in prayer. That's why this is then how you should pray. Amen. 
Natututunan nyo. Sige, ma- maan pa. Okay, tatapos na. When someone experiences the forgiveness of God, they become a forgiving person. Forgiveness is not just a gift. God gives, but a heart. He changes. Change my heart. Oh, God. Pare pang kanta mo. Di mo mang ginagawa. It transform a person. Forgiveness is not saying sin does not matter. In fact, it acknowledges the gravity of sin that only the cross of Jesus can pay for it. Galing, no? Forgiveness next. Next. What if they never ask forgiveness? Ah, uh, Eh, paano? Hindi naman umingin ng patawad. Hindi naman nila nare-rest yung kasalanan nila. At least, ma-realize nila. What if they never repent? What if they never come to me and say, I'm sorry? That's not within your control. Amen? Wala kang control dyan. Pero si God may control. Then, that's why you pray. Because when you pray, you are asking God to intervene. Ma, Lord, makialam ka na, Lord, makialam ka na, good. Di ba? Okay, next. Forgiveness is the heart of the kingdom of God. Next series natin is the way of the kingdom. Sinners are forgiven and become. You were sinners, but now you are saints. Because you've been forgiven. Wounds and brokenness are healed through Jesus' suffering. Restores man to God, man to one another, and it restores all things. Amen? Next. Last slide. The cross of Jesus, the symbol of forgiveness, is center stage in the kingdom. Everyone who receives Jesus has received His Spirit, His forgiveness, and a flourishing life. Because now the resources of the King is available for you. May I ask the worship team to come? Come up, come up, come up. Next. Wala na. Wala na. So today we will practice what we preach. Amen. Yung iba sa atin, may mga sablay tayo na hindi natin din- dinadala sa Panginoon. Una, kung nandito yung tao na na-offend mo, bago ka pumunta sa kanya, pumunta ka muna kay God. Amen. Because in a relationship, hindi, na, hindi naman pwedeng ikaw lang ang tama. Meron kang participation doon. Yung mag-asawa na naghihiwalay, sasabihin ng babae, kasalanan niya. Sasabihin ng lalaki, kasalanan. Sa totoo lang, pareho kayong may kasalanan. Oh. So ngayon, imbitahan natin ang presensya ng Panginoon. Humingi tayo ng kapatawaran. Amen? At kung meron kayong gustong ilapit sa Diyos na patawarin niya, ilapit niyo. Plus, if you, ha, if you have sinned in the past, grabe ang ginawa mong kasalanan. Karumaldumal. Na parang ganyan, may feeling ka na hindi ka pa napapatawad. O hindi mo pa inihingi talaga ng tawad yun sa Panginoon. Ito yung pagkakataon mo na hingin sa Panginoon. Amen? Gagawin natin ganito, So you just allow the Lord to speak to you as the worship team, as the worship team sings in the silence of your heart. Kausapin niyo ang Panginoon. Amen. If you want to come forward to be prayed for, that's okay. If you want to stay in your seat, that's okay too. Because the Holy Spirit is here. Ang gusto ko lang today, you will experience liberty. You will be freed kung may mga guilty feelings kayo, kung nakokondem kayo about certain things. If you have regrets about decisions you made in the past that are affecting negatively your family, your relationship, or anyone, ito yung tamang panahon na ilapit natin sa Panginoon. Amen? The grace of God to forgive is here. He will heal, He will deliver, He will set free. And it's up for you to receive. Even if someone forgives you, if you don't want to receive and you don't want to get it, you won't have it. We have to be able, you know, minsan we cannot give because we do not know how to receive. Let's receive. And how do you receive? By faith. Amen? By faith. Okay, let's all stand up and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God.
Salamat po ngayon namin nare-realize that every time we sin, Panginoon, pinapako namin muli ang aming Panginoon, O oh God. And whenever we do that, Lord, nung siya ay pinako sa krus ng Kalbaryo, nakahiga, Panginoon, ang kahoy na yan. At inihiga siya, Panginoon, sa kahoy habang ipinapako sa kanyang kamay. Lord, that was a picture of you. Arms open wide. In the midst 
midst of our sin, when we are sinning, you are still there, saying you are forgiven. Dalain ko ang mga anak mo, Panginoon, na humihingi ng kapatawaran sa mga bagay na aming ginawa, bagay na aming nagawa at hindi ginawa, Panginoon para ipahayag, i-display namin ang, ang iyong karwalhatian. Patawarin mo kami, O Diyos. Sa oras na ito, lumalapit kami sa iyo. We plead the blood of Jesus over us to cleanse our thoughts, our motives, our lips that will lead us, O God, to behave and act the way you want us to act and behave. Sa oras na ito, dalain ko ang pagdaloy ng kapatawaran, Panginoon, ang katugunan mo sa lahat ng mga bagay na ikinumpisal. Come on! You confess your sins to God. Confess your sins to God. He knows that even if you don't confess it anyway. But the Lord said, if you confess it, He will forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Dalangin namin na mula sa araw na ito, O God, makalakad kami, mamuhay, ayon sa kalwalhatian mo, O Diyos. Salamat sa kalayaan, sa kabigatan ng kasalanan ng hindi pagpapatawan. At sa mga tao, Panginoon, na nagkasala sa amin, inirelease namin sila sa iyo, O God. Father, we release them to you. They also need your forgiveness. And you also love them, O God, as much as you love us. And for all of you who have not received the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior in your life, this is your opportunity to tell Him, Jesus, come into my life. Come into my heart. Be my King forever. Panginoong Jesus, Niyanyayahan kita sa aking puso, sa aking buhay. Maghari ka, magpakailanman. Salamat po na ang pagdating mo lamang sa aking buhay ay simula, Panginoon, ng buhay, Panginoon, na banal, kaaya-aya at ganap. Maraming salamat po sa kapatawaran. Tinatanggap ko, O oh Diyos. Come on, you say, they receive your forgiveness. I receive it, God. I know this will change me to become a forgiving person. This will transform my life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Pwede na po tayong makaupo. Just a uh, hindsight. Last thought lang. Last thought lang. Alam niyo kung bakit mahalaga to sa atin sa missional communities. In the communities where we have our missional groups, cell groups, TTPs, when the people see how we forgive one another and how we ask for forgiveness, the presence of God will be there and it will uh, cause them to come to Jesus. Napakahalaga nakikita ng mga tao sa community na bawat isa sa atin nagpapatawaran. Hindi tayo dapat nakikitaan sa community Naglilid tayo ng missional community, tayo yung may mga alitan, may mga division. Nakikiusap ako sa inyo, let us be the models for confessing. We should be confessional communities. Hindi ko pinapalitan yung pangalang missional community sa, but we should be confessing our sins to one another and forgiving one another, embracing one another in Christ. Amen? Praise God. Napagpala ba kayo? Amen.